We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. To be of service. August 3rd. Our real purpose is to fit ourselves to be of maximum service to God and the people about us. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 77. It is clear that God's plan for me is expressed through love. God loved me enough to take me from the alleys and jails so that I could be made a useful participant in His world. My response is to love all of His children through service and by example. I ask God to help me imitate His love for me through my love for others. We had no capacity to love others because we didn't love ourselves when we were active in our drinking. We drank for the effect produced to escape the real pain we felt when unmedicated. It is irrelevant why we felt the way we did. What is important is that we don't have to feel that way anymore. There is a spiritual solution. God has the power. May we find it now. The steps in AA is how we have recovered by finding a higher power which we can rely on absolutely to solve our problem. We find God, we clean house, we help others. We go out to our fellows and repair the damage done in the past. We attempt to sweep away the debris which has accumulated out of our effort to live on self-will and run the show ourselves. If we haven't the will to do this, we ask until it comes. Remember, it was agreed at the beginning we would go to any lengths for victory over alcohol. Step 9 made direct amends to such people wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. It is part of being reborn. We start to receive the promises of a normal life, which is amazing, considering how low we went in our illness. By squarely addressing our wrongs to the people we harmed, we get relief and we show that we are different today, and we are examples of how AA can work in others like us. We use our liabilities as assets going forward. Our burdens become our blessings that we can use to help others. Love is now part of our lives. We love ourselves and accept others. We see others as they truly are for the first time, it seems. Life is new. It expands. We are like children experiencing seemingly mundane events with wide-eyed excitement. We have a new pair of glasses. We are closer to our fellows and we feel the presence of our higher power through our interactions with them and through prayer. We have a new freedom and a new happiness. We don't regret the past nor wish to shut the door on it. Life is simple and we are content with what we have instead of how we thought in the past, telling ourselves we would be happy only when we finally got something we thought we wanted or needed. No more outcome-based happiness for us. Our connection with our higher power is the answer. Our job is to stay focused on His will and helping others. Then all will be right in the world. To be of service. August 3rd. Our real purpose is to fit ourselves to be of maximum service to God and the people about us. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 77. It is clear that God's plan for me is expressed through love. God loved me enough to take me from the alleys and jails so that I could be made a useful participant in His world. My response is to love all of His children through service and by example. I ask God to help me imitate His love for me through my love for others. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.